I plow around this entire garden for a perimeter. That is my weed barrier. All during the summer, I will plow this same spot over and over. That prevents all this wire grass from entering into my garden. At least cuts it back a little bit. You should know where the sun rises and sets on your yard. Our sun comes up right now I'm over there. As the summer progresses, it'll come up right over that cottage. I have a fair amount of light. This building here would block out the sun. Where right here, it wouldn't block out the sun. You need to consider that with your plants. If I plant tomatoes in this row from one end to the other, the ones on this end, because the sun gets blocked out earlier in the day, will not do as well as the ones at the end of the row where they get a lot of sun. You need to know what part of your garden needs help. I can tell you where my garden needs help. It's from to the right of those onions to about halfway through that compost pile and all the way over here to this barrier. And that's where I'm going to put most of the compost from that pile and the compost from my home. You notice that I'm only plowing where I'm going to plant my vegetables. The rest of the <coughs> excuse me. The rest of the garden will just have the leaves left on them. We will not step in the plowed areas until we put away the garden in the fall. With the walk behind mower, I can just hold on to the side and walk down where the leaves are. You should never step on your garden and compact the soil. So I've plowed this. I will plow it again several times after I'm finished today with the whole thing. I will do it several times between now and June. And I will never set foot inside of where I'm going to plant. I will put fertilizer and lime in the rows and plow it in about a week, 10 days before I plant my plants. One of the problems with this soil is I have clay down there at 8 feet, at 8 inches, and it extends from 4 to 21 feet deep. So when I get a lot of rain, that clay won't let it go, leave the soil. And I can lose my whole garden like we did last, early last season with the hurricanes and then we just had torrential rains. We were getting four and five inches of rain at a time and my garden in two weeks died because the roots drowned.